In Lafayette this week, LCG will be voting to regulate Airbnbs and possibly ban them all together in single family residential homes. Today, News 10's Nick Martin visited a short term rental open house where residents and officials were invited to see what the future of short term rentals in Lafayette could look like. It's a big, beautiful family within this community. It's not about, you know, blood that connects you, it's, it's about um, community. Stevie Agostinelli is from California and says the hospitality is what drew her family to Lafayette and what has kept them here. I'm from California. Everybody, you know, step on their own grandmother to make a buck. You know, it's really rough. And um, and ever since we've been here, she always calls, hey, this is what's going on in the community. This festival, this grassroots uh, community is trying to reach out and bring awareness. The short term rental that Agostinelli stated was owned by Paws Raz. Raz is an Airbnb Superhost Ambassador Trainer. In her past nine years as a short-term rental owner in Lafayette, she says she has never had a problem. 1,200 guests over nine years. Never once have I had an issue. Never have has a neighbor said that they had a problem. You know, we're a family. We t tend to take care of things as a, as a family and stay on top of it. Mm. So our guests that come, uh, meet our standards. To keep these standards, Raz has different rules that coordinate with the renter. We have rules that are set for the guests whenever they come. Um, we have a huge parking lot that, you know, it utilizes all three of the apartments of the house that is here, so there's enough parking space for everybody. We also have curfews um, at night. So what is the problem? Some Lafayette residents have voiced their concerns, saying they feel unsafe with the constant flow of people going in and out. My concern, short-term rentals brings in um, a new group of people that the neighbors don't know. Mike Bass, organizer for the Lafayette Tourism Lodging Association, says they are fine with regulation, but adds the use of LCG's proposed regulation would cut off more than half the city. In addition to all that, would uh, ban short-term rentals in all RS1 neighborhoods, which is like 75% of the city. So we're against that, and we think that's sort of like uh, treating a cut on your arm and then go ahead and cutting the arm off just in case. In his letter to the mayor, president, and city council members, Bass also explains how he thinks they can move past this. People want to stay in neighborhoods. They want to live like a local. We coexist with hotels because some people want to stay in hotels, some people want to stay in private homes. So we'd like to see some uh, civic organizations get involved, like Lafayette Travel, like the Chamber of Commerce, to make sure they have their input because this is an economic issue. Those in favor of keeping short-term rentals safe in Lafayette say they are hoping community is what is kept in the end. It is really a huge hub for people to come and visit. It's such a beautiful area in a beautiful state. And so hoping that the council makes a wise decision and um, that this event really helps to open their hearts, opens their minds, because the guests that we get to interact with are really wonderful people um, that love to stay in these beautiful houses. Nick Martin reporting this Tuesday night, the Lafayette City Council is voting on these ordinances, ordinances that again could ban many short-term rentals. The meeting begins at 6.